Hi there, this is Sandy. Welcome to another jewelry making video at my YouTube channel and vlog. Today we're going to make this necklace, which involves very simple stringing, but it's the choice of beads that make it quite unique. So for today's necklace, I'm going to be using these tiger eye dagger beads. You can see that they're all drilled closer to one end than the other, and they vary from 25 millimeters by like 7 to like 12 meter millimeters by 4. So they have a nice variety of lengths and thicknesses. And then on the sides I'm going to add some beads. I have some larger ones which will go towards the center and then they get smaller as they go towards the back of the necklace. I also have some of these crystal cubes which I may or may not incorporate in the design. But to finish your necklace you will need six each of wire protectors, crimps, and crimp covers. You'll also need a couple of bead cones, a couple pieces of wire to make your own eye pins or eye pins, and a couple pieces of chain. I found these with these little decorative bits on the ends, and a clasp. Of course you'll also need bead stringing wire, and I recommend that you get the highest strand count you can for nice drapeability. For tools, you'll need round nose pliers, crimping pliers of whichever sort you prefer, wire cutters, chain nose pliers, and then also some of these bead stoppers. So I've got some nice heavy bead stringing wire here today. This is .018, uh, and this is heavy because these are heavy beads. These are gemstones. And I'm going to start out with about a 25-26 inch piece. You always want to cut plenty. And I'm not exactly sure how long my center section is going to be, so I'm going to start out with plenty of length, and I'm not going to finish the ends quite yet. What I'm going to do is start stringing on about four inches of pearls. And that yours don't have to be graduated sizes, I just happen to have a few different sizes in this color that I thought went nicely with the tiger eye. So just string on a section of pearls, and you may take some away later, you may add some more, but just to get started and take a look at how you think it looks. So here I've strung on my four inches of pearls, and now I'm going to string on about six inches of these tiger eye dagger beads. So you can see I've gone ahead and strung on six inches of the tiger eye daggers, and then another four inches of pearls, and I'm just going to add a bead clamp to this end. And now it's just a matter of repeating the stringing. I'm going to make another strand exactly like this one, and I'm going to make a third strand the same, except that the six inch section will have tiger eye beads alternating with these crystals. So now I've strung all three of my strands, and I actually took a look, held it up to myself, and decided I want it to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to add a few inches more of pearls to each end. Okay, so now the strands are the length that I'm happy with, and it's time to start finishing the ends. So you're going to take one end, slide on a crimp, then slide on a wire protector back through the crimp. You can squeeze together the ends of your wire protector and then use your favorite crimping method, either crimping pliers or I'm going to use the one-step crimper to flatten that crimp. Test to make sure that it's strong and secure and then trim the excess wire. And then use your crimping pliers to add a crimp cover to cover that crimp. Now when you do the other end, you're going to finish it the exact same way. Crimp, wire protector, back through the crimp. And the only difference on the second side is that you'll be pulling up some wire so make sure all of your beads are slid down to the other end, but don't pull it up completely snug. Leave yourself a little bit of slack for the necklace to curve and hang gracefully. An eighth of an inch or so is fine. And then repeat the steps of 
flattening the crimp and adding a crimp cover. So now all of the ends are finished and it's time to gather them all together. One reason I opted to make my own eye pins here was I wanted to make the loops a little bigger than usual so I could accommodate all three of those wire guardians in each one. So I'm going to make maybe a three millimeter loop here. And then just open up that loop and add in one end of each of your strands. And then use chain nose pliers to make sure that's closed nice and securely. Slide that wire into one of your bead caps and see how that just finishes everything nicely. And then we're going to make a wrapped loop here. So hold that wire where it comes out of the bead cap with chain nose pliers. Bend at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to wrap over this little component. So I'm going to make my loop a little bigger than usual. So tuck in my round nose pliers. Make my loop. Reposition and finish the loop, and then I'm going to insert my component. Close that loop and hold it with one pair of chain nose pliers. And use another pair of chain nose pliers to wrap the remaining wire around that little stem that's coming out of the bead cap. Repeat on the other end and then add your jump ring to one end and your necklace is done. Here's another look at the necklace we made today. I hope that you like this project and you'll give it a try. Just using three strands that are exactly the same or very similar really gives a dramatic effect, but if you wanted to simplify this necklace you could just use one strand. If you like this video please make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and on my blog. Happy creating. Bye-bye.